Hey everybody, it's Reynold Robert here with the No Pay No State Network. I appreciate you watching the channel. You know, it's been a uh, pretty amazing day. Um, you know, there's so much in this world that's going on and everything, and life as we know can be gone in the fraction of a second. And, uh, you know, so taking advantage of every moment that we have has been really... Um, brought to the forefront of my thoughts since uh, I had that pinched nerve in my back. So, you know, I've been kind of doing things differently. So the first thing about today is we made 200 U.S. American dollars. That was from taking a load to the dump. Um, we got it dropped and we actually have made contact with another gentleman that has a dump trailer that is more than willing to put his into action. We can make a little cheese off of him. And unfortunately, he's got a half ton truck right now. So all he's going to be doing is taking his trailer and dropping it off on location. However, that frees up a lot of time for me. So that's going to be huge. And uh, thank you, God, for that contact. You know, appreciate that. Um, it's going to give him a chance to make a little cheese himself. He said, hey, I really like that. And ironically, the guy lives four blocks away from me. He calls me the other day and says, man, I am watching YouTube, which is worldwide. And all of a sudden, I come across a guy that lives in my neighborhood three blocks away that's got a dump trailer like I do. What are the odds? You know, so, uh, coincidence or divine intervention? I think it's divine intervention, ah, so we'll just uh, do that. Um, other than that, it really wasn't a, too much of an exciting day. We've made some contacts on a couple pieces of property, had that gentleman that, um, you know, didn't want to put that non-refundable deposit down. Um, I know with some of you, that's going to seem real weird. Um, and the reason for that is, is that when you're dealing with properties that are in need of repairs, that really take a specialized eye, somebody that knows what they're looking at. Um, you don't want to get hemmed up in a situation where somebody's coming back and, oh, I need this inspection. I need this guy to take a look at it. I need this. You know, it's like, hey, either you're buying the property as is, you know what you've seen, and the way that you say, hey, I can fulfill this contract because it's going to be cash sale is you put down a non-refundable deposit. Normally, you make that out to the title company, it gets put in escrow. In this case, when you deal in these kind of properties, that check gets made out to the name on the seller, okay? Because, why? It's a non-refundable deposit, which is basically you putting your money where your mouth is and saying, I can complete this transaction. So, this game is not for everybody. I assure you of that, you know? And I honestly think that the guy that I spoke with today, that he was trying to turn around and sell the property and make a few thousand with somebody else, and there's absolutely no problem with that, okay? I appreciate somebody that hustles. The only thing is, is that you should be straight up with people, you know? I did it with a guy named Ontarius, and he told me exactly what his assignment fee was. He said, what do you need? I told him, he said, anything above that, I get to keep, and I said, not a problem. Boom, done, you know? <laughs> Guy lives out of state in Georgia, found a buyer from Texas that bought a house here in Pensacola, Florida. There you have it, okay? Um, you know, but it goes so much easier when everybody's above board and, you know, we all know what's going on. So, eh, you know, it's just my way of thinking, okay? I went and looked at a piece of property the other day um, this lady's in a situation where she just needs to walk out of this thing. Um, I think we're going to be able to help her. We're going to be able to make some money. And I did tell her, I said, you know, I look at hundreds of deals um, every month. And this might be something that at the time it comes, I might not be in a position or interested in doing it because I'm looking at something else. If I have somebody that will buy it, is that okay with you? She said, absolutely. This is what I want to walk away from it. Boom. This can be a win-win situation. I can help somebody and make a little cheese. You know, who can argue with that? So, you know, even though today didn't have a stellar bottom line as far as the money went in the bank account, we didn't break nothing. <laughs> we didn't have any uh, bad phone calls, a um, few aches and pains, but uh, 
Got some wonderful homemade chili, so today's was a success. I hope that you have a great day, and I uh, will see you tomorrow morning.